one of those chairs, that's one of the desks. We do work down there. Yeah. Yeah, it goes, it goes north, south, east, west. Problem is, sometimes you can't look north, directly north, because it's a big gray pillow in the way. So that can run into a long Oh, yeah? Prove it. I did. About a year ago, I almost broke the telescope. So. Um, any other questions? Does Sears know where their frying pans are? What was that? Does Sears know where its frying pans are? No, I don't think so, but I think we should get you some should money for plugging sure. it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, Martha Stewart, the whole frying pan. <laughs> Any other questions before we head to the next stop? Rolled steel and the glass came uh, from France. How thick is the steel? What was that? How thick is the steel? It's not very thick. What is your whole <laughs> oh, you're uh, I love the business end of telescopes. Yeah. I like that wheel there. Yeah. Is it hard to build a Not at all. Go right ahead. Harley Davidson chains on there, or what? What was that? Those Harley Davidson chains on the. This right here. <laughs> that's an old bicycle chain that helps you oh, okay. use fine adjustments. Oh, okay. Yeah. What were those? Different viewing chairs, like you would sit up there and look through the telescope. Ah. Uh. All right. Well, let's go on there. Where? Just doing that. Good. All right, well, let me just say a few things about the building while y'all looking around. This building was built in 1916. It was built for a school as his own personal library. On the floor, there were eight large bookcases. In the display cases, there were more books. There were still some of the original books up there dating back to the mid-1800s. Um, Percival died in 1916 when this was built. This was completed in September and died in November. So they got to enjoy it for about two months. We discovered the planet Pluto in 1930. And back over here is a guest book with some Apollo astronaut signatures. When they were using the Apollo telescope to map the moon, the astronauts came to Lowell in 1963 and looked through the telescope. Some very famous people in there like Neil Armstrong, John Young, Ed White, Frank Foreman, and Pete Conrad. So check it out. If you have any questions, just give a shout out. Bob, any questions? Mind your way. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 